stop crying, your daddy's gonna freak out in about three seconds. Please don't hit me up! And I can't even see, so I won't even know what I'm doing! You're not acting like a champion right now, are you? Well, no, you know what I'm Wrestle like this, I'm you wrestle, you wrestle better than that, and no, he's not. You're just getting your ass kicked. No, I'm not. Go out there and wrestle. No, it's because he's cheating. He is not. Yes, he what? I don't want to hear that. Because he's not. Everybody sees it. Do you understand me? I just don't Do not know. say that again. I'm done. Alright. Get out there, be a big boy, and wrestle like one. Do you understand? Yeah, I don't even know what to do. I... Get out there and wrestle right now. I'm waiting. To be the champion, the anthem is I can't be beat. It's time to take what's mine. The grit, the guts, the balls, the pride, the dream to embrace. The grind. The state championship is the quintessential event for a wrestler to strive to become the best. That is the event that counts at the end of every season more so than any other event. Good level change into a shot, gets to the double, and that's a mistake. You always want to take a double like away from the side your head's on. That's a very common mistake in youth wrestling. He's just like, yeah, sitting on my win. <laughs> All right, I feel the axe. Are you having a hard time hearing me out there, or are you just scared to do what I'm saying? What are you saying? <laughs> it's hard, you know. I didn't do so well. I even though I won, I didn't wrestle like how you like really you want to. I didn't like, wrestle tough. I still won, but. Maybe next time, I don't so tough. Alright, so who are you? RJ. RJ what? RJ Udo. What grade are you in? First grade. What do you do for fun? For fun? Probably put, um, play on my iPad or go outside and play with my chickens. You have chickens? Uh huh. How many chickens? My dog killed one, so we, ha we had five, I think, so now we're up to four. What are their names? We don't really know because they all look the same. Want to hear something really cool though? Yeah. I fed some deer today. I fed them Fruit Loops and they were loving them. You fed a deer Fruit Loops? And they loved them. Wow, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. No girlfriend? Actually, yeah, I do. You do? Well, tell us about her. Um, never met her before since she's my cousin's friend. She's from my cousin's school. She met me in the mall. Didn't talk to her or anything in the mall. And that's about it. That kid looks so big, doesn't he? He does, right? He looks so much bigger than RJ, yeah. All right, good fight, RJ. Way to get off your back. Good job, Good job. Good job. Hey, I want to see you on your offense here. Experience for you. I know uh, it's not what you wanted. Why well, you got to know? You you need. We need to attack. Understand? We need to attack. And, and then what happens when you don't attack? You get taken down. Do you want to be on bottom? No. You don't want to be on bottom. Top is a dominant position to be in. Do you I, know what? I picked top because I was Good. going to get my double underhooks, and I was, I was trying, yeah. but then he just. Well, you got to quick. You got to be quick so to that. Please tell me that okay. move. What move? The move that what movement did he do? Call this one the Bronco because I'm going to fuck him off and throw him forward. RJ, you got to do your post-match interview. I know that's not the outcome you wanted. Do you still want to be interviewed by the cameraman? Fine. All right, last time I filmed you losing, you screamed at me to go away. How have you matured since then? 
A lot. Our last interview was months ago, last year, maybe October or something. I mean, yeah, that was when I was being really mean to you. Yeah, you didn't want to be on the show back then. Yeah. Why do you all of a sudden want to be on the show? Because I just want to be famous. Like, my girlfriends don't even be proud of me. That's why. I just want to be famous. So, like, people knocking on my door for my autograph. Like, that kind of stuff. You've matured a lot. I could see that. You don't look very upset. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm very, but I just don't want to pull it out. I feel like everyone, like everybody's watching me. I feel like I'll get embarrassed from all that. Well, RJ, great job, and I'm proud of you for not crying. Thank you. Go have fun. All right, so what the viewers want to know is, are they going to see a step up from what they saw in episode four? I think they're going to see a big step up. He's been training very, very hard for the last two or three months, doing like three or four, actually five private lessons a week and he's really stepping up his training. So I like what I see. He's got about three weeks. How's he looking? Not bad. He's looking pretty good. Okay. Hopefully he's mentally ready. He's definitely, skills are there. It's always mental with these kids at this age. So we don't know which Gavin we're gonna get. The good Gavin or the... What are some of the biggest challenges you face uh, training Gavin? Uh, him actually following direction and listening to his coaching. He's a good kid, but he has attention issues and I have to be hard on him because he'd rather be lazy. And the man of the hour strolling in. I should take a fat piss. <laughs> So Gavin still doesn't completely have the knee pivot stand up, but like he cried so much learning that move thinking it was stupid and he's like starting to hit it. It's getting cleaner. Awesome first match. Really wrestled well. Starting to put everything together now. He's been wrestling much better lately. Great way to put things together. See, good job, buddy. Love you. Gavin, let's get that post-match interview. How are you feeling right now? Win by Tech Fall. Good. What was your strategy? Um, I was just trying to take him down and then get on top and get my points. You turned him with a bar arm. That seemed to hurt him a bit. Yeah, I got five points off for it. And is that why you went for it as your final move? Yeah, also because my dad told me. Nice, your dad was helpful in the corner? Well, good job, Gavin. Thank you. At Warzone, you can request a match when you feel like wrestling. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes before you're out on the mat against the wrestler your experience level. You can do it as many times as you like. I see your shirt says New York State finalist. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be competing at the state tournament in three weeks? Yeah. Quickly, introduction, then get back to drilling. My name is Antonio Faldetta, I'm 12 years old, and I'm like 75 pounds. So Antonio rolls in right as I'm making the New York State episode with a New York State finalist shirt on. We want to know, did he win the States? Did he come in second? He or came in second last year. It was a third period loss. Um, I think he got, he got caught in a mixer and he got pinned in the third period, if I remember correctly. But he, got, he lost it. Okay, and has he been talking about the States this year? Is it something he's after? Yeah. Yeah, so we're actually doing back-to-back -back practices tonight. So he just came from one, came here to do this one, and we're going to go do another private party after this. So it's like back-to-back -back work tonight, which is nice. So he wants to hit it, hoping to see some good competition there, and he's going to hopefully place or win. It'd be nice. Nice shrug. Good half, find the wrist. Uh, you overran it, you had it, you got to slow down. Oh, it's I don't think it's a phone nothing. This two-on-one tilt is getting close. 
it's like it's not quite there yet but like that's about to emerge as one of your best moves on top Antonio keep working with it Takes with the Shrug City again. Ah, that's a two. Nice job. Keep that arm tight. That arm's bonus points. There's a two on one. He's see, it's not there yet. You've got a deep Wellington position here if you can get your arm out. Keep that deep underhook. Keep it. You have the deep Wellington. Oh, he walked back into it. Oh, man. Sure, if your moves are gonna work or not. You're the champ. Nobody stops you. You do what you want, right? Just you don't have to go like out there like a madman. Just be consistent with your offense, non-stop putting points on the board until you're winning this match. You can find your box out stand up worth great. We can use that again, and we'll only be down by three. We can either choose to take him down twice, or we could uh, take him down in tournaments. Up to you. Okay. Okay. Looking good, my man. Let's get back in. Let's get back in there. Box out! You gotta get out, you gotta score! Out and score! Box out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Push up, come in! 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 Come on, drive me, turn me down! Yes, get two! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Hold on, hold on! Antonio, I could see why that was such an upsetting loss for you. Why don't you tell the viewers exactly what happened and why you're so frustrated right now? Uh, when I was wrestling, he threw me. He headlocked me and he put me to my back and won 9 to 5. And then at the end, I just tried to come back, but I was too tired and mad at myself. But since I was crying, it made me lose. You lost control of your emotions? Yeah. I, I, I could have defended the headlock, but uh, I messed it up. And when he got up to me, I started getting better myself, and then I lost control of my emotions, and it just made me lose. So going forward, is there anything you're going to do differently in your next matches today? I'm just going to make sure that um, 
I keep my elbows tight to my body, and if he does headlock me, just stay calm and uh, just don't cry in a match because then you're going to uh, not wrestle as good as you could have. That was really well said. Now, when he slammed you, were you actually hurt or were you just very frustrated? Both. I was really mad at myself, but I actually hurt. I'm rooting for you, Antonio. I want to see you win so bad, man. So we're hosting two wrestling camps this summer at Dynamic. One on July 5th through 8th for wrestlers in first through sixth grade. It'll be a beginner friendly camp. We're also having an expert camp July 19th through 23rd. We're bringing in five expert clinicians plus myself and our staff of coaches. Information about both of these camps can be found at wellruntournaments.com. If you want to learn some of our special secret techniques, come check it out. Hope to see you there. Keep warming up. Keep warming up. You mess with good today. Keep warming up. Back to warm up. Focus on what you're supposed to be doing. You've got a job right now. You want to win? You do want to win, right? The problem with all you guys, none of you guys focus on your warm up. Focus on the warm up and then go into the match and dominate. That's your job. Now warm up. The ideal warm up routine is pretty much what we do in practice every day. We start with a jog, we'll skip, we'll you know do high knees and butt kickers, we'll um, do some shuffling, we'll get down in our stance, we'll bear crawl, we'll crab walk, we'll do some tumblings, we'll just loosen our body up and make sure that we start getting sweaty. Once you've done a bunch of that, it's good to grab a partner and start drilling what you're gonna need for the match. The keys to your warm up are it's not your first time working hard for the day. We've done some hard exercise during our warm-up. We got our body nice and sweaty. You must be sweaty. And we've actually warmed our body up. It should be hotter if we gave you a thermometer. It shouldn't say 98.6 like it normally says. It should be closer to like 100 because now your body's working hard. Warm muscles just perform better and are less likely to get hurt as well. Do a bunch of push-ups, do a bunch of sit-ups, do a bunch of squat jumps until it's time to wrestle. Your body's starting to get warm. I feel it. My hands feel cold, right? You're almost there. Keep going. Now can you explain the typical warm-up routine that you see from your athletes at these events? Do you want me to explain it or do you want a demonstration? Demonstration sounds lovely. Sure. That's, that's pretty much what it is. That's not a warm-up. Another day where they did not do a warm-up. Why didn't you do a warm-up? Cool down. Film this, film this. So what it's gonna be is he's gonna walk around nervously, bounce once or twice, and then go back to walking around nervously. It's not a real warm-up. It actually doesn't warm their bodies up or get them sweaty like they should. It's just kinda, I know I'm supposed to warm up, but I'm so distracted by my nerves that I can't just do what I'm supposed to do. We gotta break through, and that's not just these guys. That's like every wrestler who knows that they're supposed to warm up. For me to learn this, it took me until college, and that, which is like six years. For six years, I would do the stupid walk around and pace thing like everyone else did. By college, I had it figured out. Like, okay, you better get your body prepared. Do you get mad at these kids when you see them not doing a proper warm-up routine? Like sometimes, I, sometimes I do. When I, like, if I've gone over this with you already 50 times, and then I tell you to warm up, and you, you do like five push-ups, and then you go back to walking around, you're gonna make me lose my mind. Like, it's very frustrating. What do you typically do to warm up? Just jog, pace back and forth, some like chance work. Is that what Jason wants you to do? Uh, maybe like the jogging part. Yeah. But. Hi everyone, welcome to another Team Dynamic warm up tutorial. Today, our wrestlers are going to demonstrate how to properly warm up for a match. Yeah, properly. You saw that little bounce? That was the warm up. Watch, warm -up. it's gonna happen again. Watch, it's gonna Ready, ready? The, the bounce. Here we go. You'll be able to see it. He's not warming up, and then a little warm up. Oh, he's getting there. He's 
He's ready to wrestle. <laughs> He's ready to wrestle. No, you wrestle? He's up next. No. No. What you, what you crying for? No, listen to me. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Go out there and have fun. Get out your head. Listen. Go out there and kick some ass, okay? Okay? What'd you come here to do? You came here to win the States? You came here to win the States? I go win the States. He's getting emotional. That's all right, it happens. Usually he gets like this and then eventually he'll snap out of it when he gets on the mat. Oh, he's gone. All right, Gavin, tell us about your upcoming match. I heard it's tough. Yeah, I lost my last two matches to her. She's good. It isn't time for my revenge. Oh my God, my first state title. He's nervous. When you lose to someone three times, and he lost to her last week, so he's a little nervous. Uh, she beat up three, her first two matches. I think she had two pins, so uh, she's a little nervous, but uh, we're, ready, we're ready to rock and roll. Give it 100%, see what happens. Out of head position, Gavin, so she got right through. She be posting with your free hand and keeping your wizard. Work on man, she would have rolled right into your crab. Ah, uh, you went for some stupid chop. Hey, hey, you wrestle much better, Molly. You wrestled great. You almost turned it. You wrestled great. It's the best you've ever wrestled against her. You wrestled great. I'm, I'm proud of you. You couldn't have wrestled any better. You almost turned her at the end. That was the toughest match yet. Just pinned everyone. All right? Don't hang your head. You wrestled great there. You get third. Now we get third. The best I've ever seen you wrestle. Great job. Awesome. Don't cry. You have nothing to, be, you have nothing to hang your head about. You wrestled great. You wrestled great. All right, RJ, good I interview. Believe. I have to leave. Yeah, what do you got? You got a lot of things to do today? Yeah. Like what? Going around my pocket bike, my dirt bike. Oh, wow, your schedule is loaded. Yeah, so. You're a very busy guy. All right, get out of here. a lot of stuff to do. All right, see ya. Um, Next time on The Grind, your remaining semifinalists battle for a place in the New York State Finals. In addition, Gavin Beauchamp and Antonio Faldetta work their way through the wrestlebacks in an effort to make the podium. Will they succeed? Or will they be eliminated? Find out in the next episode. Right now we go going for body. Let's go! Right. Let's go. Come on! That's here! What are you doing? You know, I want it for me. I want it for him even more. Only one wrestler at each weight class will be the champion. Please subscribe. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Desire. Bye.